Now I get asked a lot what documentaries I would recommend or I watch, but the thing is, I don't watch documentaries. Most TV documentaries, I actually really dislike them. And here are my reasons why. First, hyperbole, oversimplification and easy answers. Most TV documentaries have a strong focus on one or all three of those. So, for instance, easy answers, they usually often focus on one factor that was the determining in their view of a certain development or how the war turned out and everything. And usually there were several factors, of course, with different impact, but to say that one was the determining is, in my case, usually very wrong. There are certain instances where that's the key. The other thing is, of course, that the extreme hyperbole, why, I mean, there's one aspect like this weapon could have changed the outcome of the war, this battle could have changed this decision, and while well, if you look at the Second World War and say this little weapon or this big weapon or something could have changed the outcome of the whole war, well, it, it gets a bit weird. And also, I have the impression that sometimes, and this is also reflected, I think, in the media sometimes, that the assume actually, the producers assume that most people can't hold more than one thought at a time. So, so usually you will end with a very simple, straight narrative in, in certain ways that is very focused to get one message along. Well, I personally prefer that I open, I, I let it open to the to the viewer actually what to decide. For instance, I think my Rommel video, somebody actually commented that I didn't give a clear answer or assessment in the end, which was intentional. I said, well, I think there sometimes are no easy answers and that you have to work them out, you have to discuss them out, you have to to engage with other people, that you can form some kind of conclusion and sometimes it's an open conclusion in this way. Now the second point is the lack of data and often they are far too long. Basically the signal to noise ratio is abysmal or they are highly inefficient. Most data also is not very well sourced or anything so it's, it's for me I, I can't use them. Also, I, I usually don't trust them very well, so it, it's both, and I don't cite the commentaries usually. So it's also for production, it's, it's completely like this production at minutes, something says this, yeah, no, I, I go with the books. And the third one, which is related to this with the signal to noise ratio, is cheap music effects. They very often use music at parts to create emotion and everything. But you probably don't realize that unless you watch some, there are some movie clips out there where they, they have taken certain movies and removed the, removed the music and, and suddenly the emotional impact and everything changes or they, they use a different music and suddenly the whole, the whole scene gets a new, a new feel or you can interpret it completely differently. And, and I personally think emotion should come from from the speaker or the content. I mean, I, I have this instance with the Navy Corps interview, Navy Corpsman interview. In the, the first one especially, where quite many people noted that they had quite an emotional impact on them. And I don't think you need music for that. There's no music in that video. And it had a clear impact on the people. So I find it a rather, yeah, I call it a cheap music effect. The fourth part is also related to that, that they quite often use the storytelling narrative technique. Now I learned in university, in rhetoric class, that if you go in a storytelling mode, that the brain in a kind of switches to a, a childlike mode, like you get a fairy tale and critical aspects are turn off in your brain. So it's story time usually is that people lay back a bit more, they're more relaxed, but they're also less critical. And I think in certain areas this might be nice, but in certain areas I think it's rather, yeah, dangerous is probably the wrong word, but it's rather disconcerting to be not critical enough. Then of course is the next part, the imprecise, the imprecise or unreflected use of propaganda footage. This especially 
relates to Germany where you see half the racks all the time and when I realized when I made my video about the Panzer Grenadier division that oh they basically had no half tracks even in these divisions so there was this real lack of half tracks but since they usually had propaganda footage from from the best units you see always half tracks and half tracks and half tracks and, and the mechanized German army and, and then you realize well actually most stuff was horse drawn and everything so or did they, they bring him a, a Panzer IV with a, with a long barrel in 1940 and you know the long barrel wasn't introduced in at that point it wasn't even there so a long barrel the Panzer IV so you know this is wrong footage and you have the production cap capacity and all the stuff and you can't get this right so this is also why I'm very very negative about most documentaries and now the final part is basically what kind of documentaries I watch. I personally have one favorite and I wouldn't necessarily call it documentary it's, it's Fall of War with McNamara I think it's called 11 lessons or something or 7 lessons or 21 I don't know I should have looked it up before doing this video and the thing is here it's more about the personal impression there's also data presented in something but it, it has more, you get more this, this is personal view and everything that's not presented like from an off narrator. Like it's, it's well, it, it's, it's the truth. It's more like, okay, this is my impressions, my lessons, this is what I have. And, and also the interview asked back sometimes. So there's a bit going forth. I think it, this is the more valuable kind of documentary that I prefer because you can clearly see it's about an impression that McNamara had and his personal lessons and not some off narrator telling you what was really going on. So I hope this clears up a few questions and thank you for watching and see you next time.